welcome back students in this video we are going to understand smart art in the previous video we have seen that how shape can be utilized and i have showed you that you can create a hierarchy structure and i have also suggested that you must go for the smart art option if you want to create any list or process or hierarchy structure as such why is it so let's see let's say i want to create a hierarchy structure I want you to explain the hierarchy structure at first. Let's say in the top, it's CEO, and under him there is three particular departments. That is, sales, operation, and HR. Under sales there are two departments. Um, under HR there are uh, two department, and under operation also there are two departments. So how I'm going to display this? I'm going for Smart Art, and it's under Insert tab. Click on Smart Art. And you will get to see there are plenty of options like list option process or cycle you can create this I'm right now I'm going for hierarchy structure and I'm looking for let's say this particular double click on this and the hierarchy structure has been created you can simply click over here and you can type uh, however I prefer these options if you have gone through the videos of bullets and numbering and if you have got understood properly then creating the hierarchy structure or any other smart art for that matter is not going to be a hectic thing for you it's going to be very easy so how to do that here you can see the option of writing so i'm typing ceo in the top here it's going to be one particular department so i'm mentioning sales uh, so here you can see there are two boxes one two i want three boxes because there are three departments let's say sale operation and hr so i'm going to create another box so how to do that after sale i'm going to enter the moment i've done enter you can see another bullet has been created in the same label so you can see the box also so here i'm mentioning another department which is operation and here i'm going to mention the moment you will click on the bullet part you can see the box has also been selected so it is ajar now under sales there are two departments but under sale you can't see anything so how to do uh, in bullets and numbering i have told you that if you want to create a sub bullets you need to press enter and then tab similarly over here as well enter you can see uh, another box has been created just adjacent to sell but not adjacent to sell i want under sell so i'm going to press tab immediately so you can see one box has been created under sale and I'm going to give it let's say a digital department under cell and another is going to be fill department under operation one is going to be let's say IT and another is going to be accounts under HR one I'm going considering internal and another is going to be let's say hiring so this how we can create this you can see according to your text box is going to be adjusted accordingly uh, also let's say now under digital i want two departments one is a paid one is an organic so again i am in front of digital and enter you can see adjacent to digital one box has been created but i'm going to press tab so under digital the one option is coming so i'm mentioning here organic another i want to create so i pressed enter once again so and paid so this is how you we can create an hierarchy structure very easily there are many other col change color option click over here and you can uh, change the color not only this if for a single box if you want to change its its format you can do that select the box go to format or whatever option you want to uh, apply you can do that you can see the changes are happening however if you want to remove this simply select this and you can delete i'm going for insert going for smart art once again let's say i want to go for list option and here you can see that for the list option there is a picture option as well so continuous picture option i'm going select ok where i'm typing there are let's say um three um, there is a team and under team there are three participants so 
one of the participant is going to be uh, the developer so I'm mentioning developer and I'm giving the image <laughs> okay so I'm giving this image let's say so this is how there are plenty of options through which you can create very good options and um, this how smart art need to be worked with uh, thank you for watching have a nice day